Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. In this lesson, we'll see how to express numbers or whole numbers that are given to you in words to figures or numerals. All right. Now, since uh, it's a number, the most common way to write it in is to write it in figures or numerals. So let's learn that in this lesson. So let me take a number. Actually, I have it here. Let me take this number. It's 423,806,297. Okay. This is just one number. This whole thing is just one number. Okay. And we're going to find out how to express this in numerals or figures. All right. So let's break up this number. Okay. And uh, handle it bit by bit. Okay. So let's see. We have 423 million. Okay. Now, million is an important word. So we mark million. Okay. So let's split it here. Then we have 806,000. Now, thousand is again another word, another important word. So we split it here once more, okay? Then we have 297. All right. So we have three bits, 423 million. Then we have the second bit, 806,000. And then lastly, we have 297. All right. So let's handle it bit by bit. Now, what's 423 million in numerals? Well, 423 is 4. Two, three. Okay, and since it's million, we just write million here. Okay, this is not complete yet. This is not uh, in figures totally yet, but uh, we just be starting. Okay, now next is 806,000. Well, 806 is 806. And since it's followed by 1,000, we just write 1,000. Okay, then we have 297. 297 is simple, it's 297. So 423 million is 423 million and then 806,000 is 806,000 and then 297 is 297. All right. So, so far, this is what we have. Now, what does 423 million mean? Well, actually what 423 million means is it means 423 times a million. Okay. Times a million or times 1 million. So this is actually 423 times 1 million. And similarly, 806,000 is 806 times 1,000 or times 1,000. And 297 is just 297. All right. Now, 423 times 1 million means 423 multiplied by 1 million. So that would mean that you take 423 and you multiply it by 1 million. Now, 1 million has a 1 and 6 zeros. So, that's 1 million. All right. And, okay, the next part of your number is 806,000. So, 806,000 means it's 806 multiplied by 1,000. Okay. So, this is your 423 multiplied by 1 million because that would be 423 million. Then, you have 806 multiplied by 1,000 because that would be your 806,000. And lastly, you have the last three bits, which is 297. Okay. So we have three bits here. One, two, and three. Now, what's the product of 423 and 1 million? Well, it is 4, 2, 3, followed by six zeros. That's what the product is. Okay. So that's your 423 million in numerals. Okay, next, the next bit is 806,000. Now, when you multiply 806 by 1,000, what you will get is 806 followed by three zeros. So that's your 806,000 in numerals. And finally, you have the 2, 9, and 7. Okay, now what this means is this is 423 million and means plus. So this is simply plus 806,000 plus. 297. And when you add these three bits, okay, the 423 million to the 806,000 to 297, what you will get is you will get 4238062297. And this guy over here is your 423,806,297 expressed in figures or numerals. So if you look at this one more time, what you see is these are the three bits of the million, right? These are the three bits of the million here. Then the next three bits are the bits, three bits of the thousand, 806. 
then the last three bits are these last three bits which are in the least important place value so if you start from right to left you see that the first three bits are the ones that are in the least or the lowest important place value okay then the next three bits are the thousands okay these are the thousands 806000 then the last three bits are the millions the most important place value so that's the three bits of the million so there you go when you see a number like this written in words just mark the keywords million and the keyword thousand and then make sure that for the million you have three bits for the thousand you have three bits and for the least important three bits you have the three bits okay now let me actually show you another example and we'll see how we implement that again okay so what we've got is we've got seven million and five now we said just now that when you see a number like this you mark the keywords million and thousand well in our case we don't have thousand here but don't worry about that for now okay so let's write the million well the million is again seven million okay and seven million would be seven followed by six zeros right now there's nothing for thousand so we just leave it blank and the five is simply five so this is five and this would give you seven million okay plus five and seven million plus five is simply seven million and five this is seven followed by these five zeros and the last bit which is five now if you don't want to do it this way you don't want to write the seven million and five and then add and all that you don't have to do it that way okay just think of place values okay and start from the right the lowest three bits well for the lowest three bits what you have is you have five you only have something for the ones okay for the ones you have five for the tens well you don't have anything for the tens so it's zero and for the hundreds you don't have anything for the hundreds that's also zero how about the thousands well the three bits of the thousands there is nothing for the three bits of the thousands so this is your thousands right this is your one thousands this is your ten thousands and this is your hundred thousands and all these three are empty so they are all zeros because there's nothing here in the seven million and five that's four thousand so these are all zeros then the last three bits of the millions well these are this is your one millions so these are all your millions right this is your one millions this is your ten millions and this is your hundred millions for the one millions you have seven for the 10 millions you don't have anything for the 100 millions also you don't have anything so 7 million and 5 is if you take these bits from here you write this as 0070000005 and the first two zeros can actually be dropped because they don't have any value right when they're in the front so the number that you have this one 7 million and 5 in numerals is 7 followed by five zeros and then the digit five which is the same as this all right that's it about this lesson hope you got it and hope now you'll go and solve some problems at www.homecampus.com.sg don't forget to practice because practice makes perfect this is m signing off for now Bye bye